This is Saikumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about how to create a web component in JavaScript. I have discussed about web components in my previous video. Please watch that before continuing this. Let me quickly jump into next slide. So here the web components are classified into two types of elements that is autonomous elements and customized built-in elements. So let's understand about autonomous elements. Autonomous elements are the elements which are not extended with a built-in elements like HTML elements. It is a complete customized element and we can use that in our application whenever we require. So first we will focus on the autonomous elements in this particular video. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. So here I have created one index.html and index.js and this index.js has been embedded into my index.html using a script tag. Now, how we can create a custom element? We have to create a custom element by using ES6 class. So we have to create a class first and then we have to define with our custom element registry. I'll talk about the custom element registry in a couple of seconds. So first let's create a class. class so let me create a custom element is class name and I'm extending my HTML content. So HTML element and let me use a constructor and inside this constructor let me use a super keyword which will pull all the properties which are inside this super class that is HTML element class. So I have created the custom element class. Now what we can do is there is a custom element registry which is having a property called as define property. This is over the window object of our browser. So this is also a type of API where it is providing one of the property called as custom elements and this custom elements is an API which is providing a define property inside this define property. We have to give three options or three parameters. The first parameter is the name whatever we want to give for a particular element which is a customized element and always prefer to go with kebab case that means in two words separated by hyphen. Let me give custom hyphen element is my name of the tag which I want to use on my HTML. So this is my HTML customized element and now this is having a feature of my custom element class. So whatever the custom element class is giving to us, then we can use that custom element on my defined property. So this is a class name. So it will acquire the features from this particular class. So let me go to the class and define how my custom element should look like. For example, I want to create a custom element that should be a button and an input field which are embedded together. Whenever I use this custom element, automatically it should show one input field and one button. So to do that, what we can do is we can create our elements. So before creating our elements, this, there is a concept called as shadow elements. So whatever the custom elements which we are creating that should be shadowed. So shadow elements are something which will not include in our document. Instead, they will be a sibling for our document object. So I'll show you in couple of minutes. Let's focus on the shadow element. This dot attach shadow. There is some method called as attach shadow which is given by HTML elements itself. So that is the reason whenever I use this keyword then I am able to access the properties of my HTML element and this is having one parameter which is nothing but an object and it is having a property called as mode and always we need to set this mode as open. If it is not in the open state then you cannot access this particular custom elements. So now I have attached the shadow element to my particular DOM element that is a custom element and inside this let me create an input field. If you remember in my previous video of the JS DOM manipulation and accessing I have created a dynamic input field and we can assign some values and the properties to that. For understanding I'll provide the link in the description. Please watch that before going further. So let me use const input element I am creating an input element by using document API document dot create element there is something called as create element and it will accept one element name that is input element and what I want to do is input element dot ID I want to give an ID property for this so let me give that ID property as custom input element this is my input element and also what I can do is I can create one more button element btn element and for this button element let me give document dot create element of I want to give the button element 
so for this button element i want to give an inner text button btn element dot inner text is equal to submit i want to give this submit button and before having this i want to create one a parent element which consists of this input element as well as the button element let me create that element so const div element so this will have two childs that is input element as well as button element so let me create document dot create element of a div element and this input element and the button element i can put it inside the div element so div element dot append child of i want to append the input element first i want to get the input element that's why i am appending the input element and for the same div element i want to append a child of button element so now i'll have a button element as well as the input element inside this div element so this is my element which is already framed but to showcase this div element onto the shadow element we have something like shadow element const shadow so i am storing this attached shadow into the shadow element and shadow dot append child i am appending whole my element that is a custom element into this shadow called as div element and this will be appended to my shadow and now i am ready to use my custom element how to use this custom element custom element is now a type of html element but it is not a pure html element but this is created by our own and i can use this inside my content so let me use here custom element and save this let me go to the browser if you reload we are getting an input field and a submit button so if i want to add a placeholder to s yes, then i can just go here and add input element dot placeholder is equal to i can give a placeholder value something like username and save this go here and reload you are getting the username and what is the advantage of creating this custom element is i can use this custom element at any place n number of times and regardless of any framework so this custom element can be used any of the frameworks like angular react and you can use this custom element as a customized component and for that component these are the features which are provided by our custom element and if you open the inspect just understand how it is rendering let me zoom it a bit and extract this so if you go to this div and go to the custom element this is my custom element and it is creating a shadow element so this shadow element will always focus on this div so this shadow element will be regardless of your original document if you have original document that will be separated for this shadow root element and the inside the shadow root i have created a div element and inside that div element i have an input field and an a button and i have added the placeholder and i have added id and also the button but here one problem is this is not much reusable why because we are hard coding all our ids placeholders and inner text here itself instead we can pass the properties to a custom element and attach that properties to your original custom element properties and make that render so that one we'll check in the next upcoming video hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you